<laughs> hi welcome back to my channel you are here with yes i'm her and i want to say thank you all so so very much for all the love comments subscribes and likes you have been showing my channel i want to send some shout outs i want to shout out my favorite people that has been showing so much love to my channel so I want to first start off with Joanne. Thank you, Joanne, for all the comments and likes you have been showing each and every one of my videos. Um, I'm glad you are enjoying the positive energy I am bringing to this channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Terry, thank you so much for enjoying and um, loving the, the positivity that I have been spreading. Thank you so much for always commenting and liking my videos. I truly, truly appreciate all that love and support. Marie 520. Thank you so much, girl, for all the support you have been showing my channel. Each and every one of you means so much to me because without you all, um, like I'm gonna keep going regardless, but you all make my day even even better. It makes y'all you all make my day even brighter. You all make me wanna go even harder because I feel like um my messages is helping someone. So I, I truly, truly appreciate that. Maine, thank you so much, hon, for all the love and support you have been showing my videos. I'm, gr I'm glad you also enjoy my videos and love watching the content that I create. Um, it only gets better and better. Um, I'm always in creativity mode. I'm always trying to figure out um, different ways to bring content. So I'm glad that you all are enjoying the videos that I am dropping each and every day. Melissa, thank you, hon. Thank you so much for always liking and commenting on my videos. It's, it's much appreciated. It's truly appreciated. And I just want to send so much love and support your way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Johnna Lynn, thank you for always tuning in. I'm always seeing you guys say tuning in, watching now. Great video. It means so much to me. I promise you. I'm sending love and you all sending love back. So it means so, so much to me. And I truly appreciate it. And I just, you know, hope that everything it just get better and better. And I and I we like family. We are family. I just feel like we are a family and I just hope our family just continue to grow and um Everybody just, you know, take whatever they need from these videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for always tuning in. Nate, thank you, Nate, for always tuning in and liking my videos and feeling like they are, you know, powerful content and that it helped you. Thank you. Thank you so much for always tuning in, Nate. I do see you, even though I don't see your picture. I do see you and I appreciate all of that. Rack up, Naya. Thank you, hon. Thank you so much for for tuning in to my videos, commenting on my videos, and liking my channel, liking the content that I spread. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And um, like I said, it's more to come. It's only up, for he up from here. And, like, and I will always stay creative with the content so you all can stay engaged. Again, thank you all for the love and support. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I want to send a great big shout out to Asia coming from all the way from the Philippines. Thank you so much for always tuning into my videos and watching my videos and comment. Um, I'm glad that you are um, in I'm glad you I'm glad that you are enjoying my videos. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you are enjoying my videos. It means so much to me. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for always commenting and liking and subscribing, huh? Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Much love from the United States to the Philippines. Thank you, sweetie. I do want to send a shout out to DMJ. DMJ, thank you so much for always tuning in, um, liking and commenting on my videos. Haven't seen you in a while, but I do see your um, comments and subscribes. I'm glad you always here to show love and support and you enjoy the way I speak. I truly, truly appreciate all of your, conf your compliments and um, the love you show my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I just want to jump straight in and get straight to the point. <laughs> you know how we do it. So I don't know who this is for. I want to say forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know until you live through it. Honor your path, trust your journey, and learn, grow, evolve, and become the person you are created to be. 
Did you know that you are a queen because your soul is royalty? And did you know that you are a king because your soul is royalty? They say a woman with a voice is by definition a strong woman. But the search to find that voice can be remarkably difficult. So speak out, speak up and speak out. If you have something you want to say to the world, speak up and speak out because... A lot of strong women and men, a lot of strong um, women and men are are going unheard. And a lot of times it, it, they are going unheard because they may be a little shy or a little bit um, nervous or scared to kind of speak up and speak out because they not sure how people are going to perceive them. But it's okay. It's okay. You know, use the strength that you have and just go out on faith. You know, believe in your own magic, believe in yourself, know that, you know, you can do whatever it is that you put your mind to. For us men and women, we have to become strong role models for our daughters and our sons. So when they become men and women, they will know what to look for in that woman or that man. Whoever this is for, dream with ambition. Lead with conviction and see yourself in a way that others might not see you simply because they've never seen it before. Walk in your power. All right. Be that that beauty and that beast. Be both. It's a combination. It's team. It's it's teamwork. It's team effort. You got to be both of them. Because you never know what you may have to face. Where it ain't going to be so pretty, you know, you know, it, it may not be so pretty and you have to, you know, get real, get real, get dirty. You may have to get dirty. So be that beauty and that beast. Also, be strong enough to walk away from what isn't best for you. Be strong enough to do that. And then be patient enough to wait on the blessings you deserve. You deserve better. You deserve love. You deserve to be surrounded about around people that has your best interests at heart. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to travel the world and see beautiful things. You deserve to be surrounded with love. You know, release it. Let it go. You deserve to look beautiful, even though you feel like a beast. You deserve it. All right? Allow these, allow these things to happen in your life so it can open up different channels for you. You are the full circle. Within you is the power to create, nurture, and transform. Your life, your surrounding, your mind. All right? Don't hold back your waves because people want to swim. Let them flow. Let them ride the wave. Teach them. You could either tell them or teach them. How to ride the wave, but don't hold your waves back. That's a no-go. What Nicki Minaj say, she said it better. You got to be a beast. That's the only way they'll, re- they'll respect you. You can't be passive. You can't, you can't, you know, let nobody just walk over you and say whatever they want to say to you and do whatever they want to do. Take advantage of you because they know you got a good heart. You could still have a good heart and also be a beast. This is for all my this is for whoever this whoever whoever can feel this message. Tighten up because people is out here taking advantage of you know nice, kind, empathic people. People out here trying to take advantage of 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 us. And you have to learn how to just, you know, not even not even think like you're being mean. Not don't even think like that. Do what you have to do to protect your peace, to protect to protect your sanity. I'm sorry. Yeah, do what you have to do. Unleash the, unleash the beast that's within you. Show them that you're not to be played with. And take a moment to appreciate how much you have grown. Any any greatness that you're trying to achieve is achieved through beast mode. You have to go in and go hard. You got to go hard to go home. Anybody that's that that has made it and doing well in themselves, they didn't do well by being by being a pushover. No, 
They didn't do it by being a pushover. They stood their ten toes down. They stayed grounded. They set boundaries. A person either going to take it or they're going to leave it. Demand your respect. Demand your respect by any means. Anybody borrowing money from you, charge interest. Anybody want um, anything from you, they have to they have to have to bring something in return. They have to pour into you like you pouring into them. And whoever needs to hear this, whenever you find yourself doubting how far you can go, just remember how far you have come. Remember everything you have faced, all the battles you have won, and all the fears you have overcome. Remember those things. So, you know, that remembering how far you come going to keep you going to where you're trying to go. You got to come for everything the divine said he had for you. You got to go for it. Everything in your mind, your heart that you feel like you can have or that you that you want. Go after it because it's yours. You had that thought for a reason. You had that vision for a reason. The divine did not allow you to have that re that vision just because it was cute. No. It was because that, that vision was for you. Go out of it. Go out to everything. When I say everything, go out to everything they said you couldn't have. Because to have something you gotta you gotta want it. You gotta you gotta work for it. You gotta deserve it. Nothing is just gonna be handed or it's just gonna be handed to you. You gotta get in beast mode and go out of it. For all the ones that think you so nice, so sweet, so kind, tell them this. Do not mistake my kindness for weakness. You hear me? Do not mistake my kindness for weakness. The beast in me is sleeping, not dead. Let them know. Don't know who this is for. Do not tolerate disrespect. Not even from yourself. Do not disrespect yourself. Do not down yourself. You know, talk bad about yourself, your looks, you know, what are you, whatever you're doing. Do not talk down on yourself. Always speak positivity. Re regardless of whatever you may think in your little old brain about yourself, it is not true. It is not true. You know, speak positivity. I am beautiful. I am loved. I love my body. I love my mind. I love the choices and the decisions that I am making, especially if you are making all the right decisions. You know, speak those things on your life. Knowledge will give you the power, but character will be, give you the respect. You know, your character is everything. So you want to always carry yourself in a way that you you automatically going to get respect. You A lot of times you may not automatically get respect. You have to demand your respect because the person will try you. They gonna all, You got people always out here trying people. I don't know why. They just so bored. They just feel like trying people. But, you know, demand your respect. But your character speak louder than words. How you carry yourself. All right. Respect yourself and others will respect you. That's just the way of life. That's the way of life, especially when you you holding down, when you holding down your boundaries and your integrity and your self-respect. People going to treat you teach people how to treat you. You teach people how to treat you. And for those of us that are getting comfortable and getting in beast mode, don't allow someone to treat you poorly just because you love them. You can still love them and make them respect you. You know, people is just so manipulative nowadays. It's, 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 it's too much. It's too much. They try to use, they try to use the love that you have for them and, and abuse it. Do not allow that. Do not allow that. And don't let nobody get comfortable with disrespecting you. Make them, get them uncomfortable, okay? Listen, respect yourself. If you don't, others won't either. Remember, the world sees what you put out there. So hold yourself to a high standard of grace and elegance. I was raised to show respect. 
I was taught to knock before I open a door, say hello when I enter a room, say please and thank you, and to have respect for my elders. I let another person have my seat if they needed it, especially a, a elder or a pregnant woman. I'll say yes, sir, no, sir, and help others when they need me to. I wouldn't just stand on the sideline and watch. Like, that's hard for me to do. I don't laugh at people when they fall. Like, I don't find that funny. Some people find that just so funny. That's not funny to me. Like, they could be internally hurt and you, we just crack, they just cracking up laughing. Like, it's not funny. You know, I hold the people, I hold the door, I hold doors for people that's behind me. I say, excuse me when it's needed. It's, it's, it's all respect. And the type of heart that I have, I love people for who they are and not for what I can get from them. And most importantly, I was raised to treat people exactly how I would like to be treated by others. Like a lot of times that's not even reciprocated no more. Like people out for self, people are very selfish and, you know, it's just not cool. So that's why you have to really get in beast mode and demand your respect, set your boundaries because a person is out to, a person can be out for all type of selfish reason and you don't want to be used and abused by no one because you're just being so nice. That's why I say sometimes you got to be, be beauty in a beast. Yeah. Mix that combination up and serve it. You know, a man should never disrespect the mother of his child. No matter how mad you are, always remember she's doing whatever she can to provide, protect, love, and feed your child like no one else will. Like, love is unconditional. Love's supposed to be unconditional. It shouldn't be, you know limits to love it shouldn't be restrictions to love love should be it's supposed to be unconditional all right let's break down the word boundary and boundaries all right be aware of what is unacceptable and normalize saying no do what is best for you and know that it is not your responsibility to sacrifice yourself for others so if somebody feel the need to throw a fit because you set boundaries, it's just more evidence the boundary was the boundary was needed. And it's simple. So repeat after me. I am not responsible for how people respond to my boundaries. I am responsible for setting and honoring my boundaries. If my relationships end because I set boundaries, it's a sign that the foundation was cracked. In healthy relationships, I can set boundaries without fear of retaliation, cutoffs, or manipulation. So avoid these five people. The ones that mess with your head. The ones that intentionally and repeatedly do and say things that they know upset you. The ones that expect you to prioritize them, but refuse to prioritize you. The ones that can't and won't apologize sincerely. Let me say that again. The ones that can't and won't apologize sincerely. And the ones that act like the victim when confronted with the abuse of behavior. One more time. The ones that act like the victim when confronted with their abusive behavior. Avoid those people by all means necessary. So while you beasting up and bossing up, setting boundaries or whatnot, stop asking why they keep doing what they're doing and start asking why you keep allowing it. And once, once that is established, you're not even going to have to worry about that no more. So in closing, love yourself enough to set boundaries. Your time and energy are precious. You get to choose how to use it. You teach people how to treat you by deciding what you will and will not accept. Thank you all so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, before I go, I got to welcome all my new subbies. Welcome to Yes, I'm Her. You are more than welcome to be here. We are a family here, so you are more than welcome welcome to comment under comment in the comment um, box 
and engage with us. This is a channel of reciprocated love.